Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! I get these bagged up and uh, get them out to uh, people who really want to enjoy these fish. Oh, good morning, guys. Or good evening. Welcome back to another episode. I know. I missed this week's upload. Nightmares, like absolute nightmares. For the last two weeks, I've been lake trout fishing, uh, and it's been cheeks. I'm not even gonna lie, you guys. I've gone out and basically skunked the last two weeks. We are all saddled up to go out on another fishing adventure today, and I'm super freaking pumped. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it to you guys, but I really need to catch some fish. So we're going after the yellow perch today. Anyways guys, this video is sponsored by the Tackle Box. Big shout out to them. If you guys don't know what the Tackle Box is, they're a bait shop in our area that sell literally some pretty freaking badass fishing gear. Uh, they also sell hunting gear and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check them out. Give them a like on their Facebook page. And uh, if you're in the area, make sure you stop in and check them out, man. Support your freaking local business. Get off that Amazon. All right, guys, enough freaking talking. The sun's coming up. Let's get into it. Let's go. I'm not bad. Are you cold yet? Hell no. Dang, Chris is a freaking trooper, guys. The fish are gonna keep us warm. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna be leaning back on them all day. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So Zach, looks like you're already set up in here. Uh, we're gonna be doing some perching today, as I explained earlier. Um, and Zach knows the spot. Is this your spot from yesterday? Or? My shanty was right there where Chris is yesterday. Cool. All right, so yeah, guys, we're about to get on some serious perch action, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, I am all set up in the shanty for this freaking yellow gold shindig. We'll see what we'll see what happens right now. Got this uh, little spoon. I think it's uh, honestly I don't remember who makes it, but I got it at the tackle box. So you can uh, head over there and check out their spoon selection. <laughs> Anyways, dropping down, first drop. Everybody says they're hanging out at the bottom. I am seeing some action on the flasher. I'm fishing 38 feet of water right now, so this should be good. All right, we're right on bottom. Fishing with the old wax worms today. Maggots, grubs, whatever you call them. Yeah! Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a hog. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my God. They're freaking chubs, guys. Oh, my God. He choked this spoon. Wow. Wow. Let's go. First one of the day. Keeper. Wow. Incredibly stacked down there, boys. We'll see what happens here in a second. Oh yeah. Yep, fish on. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Coming up from the deep. Oh, they're big too. Oh, this one's decent, but. Woo! We got an eater. I'm gonna let that one go because they get a lot bigger here. It's gonna be a good day. Joke, this is serious business. Watch this, watch this. Oh! Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good one, guys. Oh my God. Let's go. Oh, look at this slob. Oh! oh man, he's really got, he's got an alewife in his mouth. Oh yeah, they're loaded with them. Oh, they're burping up invasive species, guys. <laughs> Ew. This is crazy, guys. It's just firing up too. Like as soon as you get down to the 30, 34 mark, pretty close to bottom, about an inch off, a couple inches off bottom. Just give a couple jigs. Ooh, he hit me, he hit me. Come on, get back. Oh, 
Got to be more on point. Come on. Yeah. You always know it's a good fish when you hear that little ding, ding, ding. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that perch! Holy freaking crap, guys! Oh my god! Look at that! This thing's been eaten! Wow! <laughs> Incredible! They're taking a bear jig over here. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of day, Chris. My shanty floor is gonna be covered by the end of the day. No joke. That's the goal. First pro venture. I already got two in my bucket. You got two pro wow. inches? In my bucket right now, yeah. My god, that makes 24 inches. What is this? Incredible. We've just stumbled on a massive honey hole. Oh, there's got to be a freaking 12 incher down there. A nice master angler. Come on, baby. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Unreal. Unfreaking real guys. I absolutely needed this after striking out lake trout fishing for the last two weeks in a row um, This is just you know a blessing <laughs> I'll get back to lake trout fishing But I definitely just needed a day to come out and pound on something and It looks like a it's turned out to be a good day. Oh My god, this is definitely a good fish. Yeah, they're so fat They're so fat Fat and full of alewife. That's a good fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Incredible. We are slaying the slabs right now, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Just some incredible fishing right now, man. If you're just tuning in, we are crushing the slabs right now. The boys are out here on Champlain and we're just murking. And they're coming right off the bottom as soon as I get back down there. Like, it, it is unreal, guys. As soon as, we hit, as soon as I hit bottom, look at that. And that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Oh my god, it's a hog. Another one. Literally, not even joking. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever fished this deep for perch before. Um, definitely super cool. Super fun to, you know, have a flasher to be able to look down there and uh, see what's going on um, to detect the bite too. But uh, you definitely don't need this stuff, you know. These fish are all hanging out right on the bottom, um, dropping, you know, a deep water bit right down to the bottom, pounding bottom a couple times, couple cranks up, and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to um, slay some of these perch. You don't need the fa fancy technology, folks. Just get out here and have some fun. Keep moving around too, you know. If you're if you're not on the bite, pick up, move. You know, it's just like being in a boat. There we go. Oh my god, I'm all wrapped up. Ugh. But, let's go. What a Kong. What a Kong. Look at this fish. This might be a new PB, guys. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this perch. That is nice. Might be my master angler, but I don't know if I got the length. But wow, that's what we're out here for today. Holy crap. Woo, check out that haul, guys. Freaking crushing them right now. How are you doing, Chris? You got a full bucket yet? 
No, they don't like me anymore. <laughs> but they liked me earlier yeah, in the let's morning. Take a look, see what you got. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good size. That's a. That's a. That's a good eat. Twenty size. plus. Yeah. At least. Heck yeah. Let's go see what Zach's up to. Over here, he's been hiding in the big shanty. Probably has the whole freaking floor covered again, like yesterday. How are you doing in here, man? You crashing them in here? I got a few. Yeah. Where's the pile? In the bucket. In the bucket? Yeah. Oh, you guys in here. You like to hide your hide your stash, huh? Yeah, dude, nice catch. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Got some chunkers in there. Yeah, man, definitely. Uh, check it out, guys. There's like 20 freaking plus trucks out here, and uh, everyone's just out here fishing. Fishing for perch, targeting hogs. Vermont banned plastic bags, so that's all I got. <laughs> I got my bucket, but yeah, let's go. Half a bag of perch in maybe two hours, and uh, now it's time to get back to the house and clean them all, so stay tuned. All right, guys, back at the crib, dealing with the haul. That freaking brown bag definitely didn't last long broken my trunk it was really gross <laughs> but yeah got a ton of these perchies gnarly's helping me sort them you want to see yeah yeah it's a fishy and uh we're gonna get cleaning a lot of cleaning to do right now there's like i don't know if i had to say 50 plus mostly big fish though so it'll make light work of it Back in the crib, finally cleaning some of these perch, and I wanted to go over a style of cleaning um, that I haven't really seen much on YouTube, but I have seen a lot in Vermont. Uh, I don't know if it's just like a Vermont style of cleaning fish or something, but uh, there's two, you know, styles for me of cleaning fish, and um, that's obviously the boneless fillet, and then you got the hog dress. Now, for some of you that don't know what the hog dress is, you're essentially cleaning the fish um, so that the rib cage is still intact with um, the meat. So um, when cooked, uh, it just kind of slides out, almost like trout bones. Um, yeah, so that's hog dressing, and I think it's commonly for trout, but uh, not sure. A lot of people clean their perch like this, so don't hate on me in the comments or anything. This is just a Vermont thing that we do, so. You want a sharp knife? So let's go over um, the hog dress. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to hog dress a perch today. Uh, super simple, actually. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, it's a lot simpler than uh, the boneless filet. So let's get to it. Got a nice big old Bertha from today. Actually not my PB. I know I got super excited. Uh, this is a quality fish though. Um, so let's get into it. All right, hog dress. First thing you're gonna wanna do, behind the fin right here, come in at a freaking angle, cut down, remove the head. All right, thought my knife was sharp. All right, I like to get rid of the guts. And I flip the fish over. Come right down with my blade. And I slide it right into the cavity. I like to go right out. Boom, this is a big fish, so I can kind of work hard. If you like to eat the row, set the row aside. Some people like to fry that up, it's a nice snack. Now, you got the belly open. Cut all the way down to the tail. All right, flip over. Come to the top. Put your knife right in. See his, uh, I don't even know what you call this, fin. <laughs> uh, run your knife down, just so slightly under the skin, to the tail. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm just making a small incision. And then down the other side as well. This is kind of like the hardest part, I think, of cleaning this fish. Alright, now that you got that done, 
take your knife, insert behind the fin, all the way behind the rear end of the fin, pinch, and just pull. And that's gonna come right out, just like that. All right, now, we're almost done. We're gonna remove the skin. So, take your knife. Top corner of the filet where we just removed the top, you know, fin or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, we're gonna run our knife right in, give a nice pinch, and just pull it right down. And that's gonna remove the skin, reeling a nice filet. So, we're gonna repeat that. Same on this side. Whoop. Same on this side. We're just gonna peel it right frickin' down. All right, now we have a nice hog dress filet. You can see there's a rib cage. Some guys will come in and remove the rib cage, but uh, I'm not gonna do that because it's just a lot of work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can flour that bread it, throw it in oil, bake it, whatever way you want to enjoy this fish, guys. Um, like I said, perch is a freaking delicacy, and uh, it is so freaking delicious. That is it, guys. We have a million more of these to do, and uh, we should probably get to work because uh, it's getting late. And thank you for letting me clean all of these fish in the house. So, I'll see you guys when it's done. Finally done filleting all these bad boys, and uh, it was really nice to um, do that on the live Facebook page uh, and have conversation the whole time while I did this because this is really freaking time consuming. Uh, gonna get these bagged up and uh, get them out to uh, people who really want to enjoy these fish. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, these fish are going to um, people who couldn't get out this year and go ice fishing. All right, I should probably get cleaned up before my wife kills me. Tomorrow. Well, folks, it is a beautiful day out here. I'm getting ready to go give out these perch that we caught to the homies. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing your boy on the channel. We're out here grinding and working really hard to, you know, bring you guys these videos every week. So, do me a favor and like and subscribe and uh, smack that little notification button so you guys can get notified when we upload. Big things coming for the Awa crew and big things coming for this channel. Anyways guys, that's a wrap. I'm signing out and uh, we'll catch you on another episode of Angling with Alex. Peace!